So I think marriage is pre-political. And here's how I can prove it. If the United States government were to disappear tomorrow, suddenly there's no government at all, would you consider yourself no longer married? I don't think you would. In fact, I think most likely you would spend a lot of time in that situation and a lot of effort on securing your property and your family's safety. You would think about that probably more than you do today. You would not consider yourself unmarried. You would consider the, the duties that you had to your family, to your spouse, to be, if anything, even more important in a time of uncertainty like that. Now, what does government have to do with marriage? The answer to that question, as I would, as I would see it, is that government is always concerned with the allocation of property and with the adjudication of property disputes. Government is frequently concerned with the custody of minors and uh, how that's to be settled. Government is frequently concerned with who has the power to make medical decisions, who has the power to make legal decisions if you're incapacitated. And those are all things that a marriage can help you to settle. If you have a marriage, Government knows exactly where your property goes when you die. There are rules for that already in place. If you're married, your spouse gets to make decisions for you if you're incapacitated. If you are married and there are children in the marriage, you are presumed to be equally competent to be custodians of the children. Now, none of these things, none of these things is particular to heterosexual marriage. These are things that same-sex couples can want, just like heterosexual couples can want. And because these are things that touch on core functions of government, I think, yes, first of all, government should recognize marriages, if only to respect the rights of people within them. And second, that governments should recognize same-sex marriages.